<laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the penultimate, as in second from last episode of RimWorld Flesh. So, good news. According to Discord, I have completed all war crimes on the Geneva Convention. We can officially say that we have marked off every war crime this series. So, big round of applause for that one. Um, or a jail sentence, I'm not entirely sure. So, I did say that I would bring back Worcester Sauce and Worm Turner and everybody else kind of preemptively here. But I've decided that we need a good end goal for this series. And I'm going to give us two episodes to do it in. And I think that end goal is fairly succinct and fairly straightforward and thematically accurate. Flesh Mother, or what was Robo Mummy, of course, joined an alliance with these Illithids because they could help each other. She helps bring in... Uh, other other kind of victims for, well, probably not the right word for it, volunteers for the Illithid um, brain devouring and body conversion therapy, which of course has resulted in, in Neve and Sideshow and Kekvit and Worcester Sauce and all our other friends here. But overall, Flesh Mother has achieved her goal. The Illithids really have not got a great deal out of this. They could have picked up five people or six people or seven people by themselves. So, I've added a mod here, uh, which will allow us to really combine all of our final goals here into one big super goal. The Cargo Pod mod, which essentially allows us to build a reusable, larger shuttlecraft capable of... What the hell's going on there? Capable of landing in World Tiles, dropping off our troops, and bringing home whatever it is we want. And in this case, I'm thinking we send Flesh Mother, we send in the Child Soldiers, which of course is, is something we've been working on for a while here, and we use them to raid and destroy every other settlement on the map, bring back the survivors for Illithid reassignment. By which we mean we're going to devour their brains and turn them into squid people. That way, all of our research and effort and R&D into designing the perfect child soldier army with the brain of Robo Mummy and the, the fleshy goodness bestowed on them by uh, the power of the squid people, combined with, of course, Flesh Mother's own military skill, military might, and, and, and prowess, and cruelty for lack of better word is is it's going to be perfectly combined in in a campaign to actually give everybody a victory i i quite like this so that's what we're going to be aiming for here so obviously the first thing we need to do is obviously crack out the cargo pod get a get a few of those actually built as well i think we're going to remove the pod launchers uh get back the chem fuel from that and rely just on the cargo pods we do have a little staging area here as well assuming we haven't roofed over it uh, we can remove the roof there. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and remove that. I, I was just thinking it might be a uh, mountain roof or something. But this is the perfect area to put down a few a few cargo pods ready to launch. And we'll just go and see who we can who we can capture out there in the world. And we'll see if we can end up with just the Illithids as the dominant faction on our little continent. Now, I've removed some of the other factions, as you might see. Like, there were some all the way up here, which we can't reach via land or drop pods. So those we weren't able to even interact with. But everyone else, they're fair game. They are, they are path of all two. We can send caravans or we can send drop pods there. So we're going to see if we can, we're going to see if we can wipe them out. I feel like I should probably arm the child soldiers a little bit better, right? Which is not something I thought I'd ever say. Um, maybe not heavy marine armor, but recon armor. Maybe regular marine armor. I'm sure we got plenty of stuff just lying around, right? No, we really don't. We've got a few cataract armor and that's it. Well, let's go to the, um, let's go to the apparel bench and let's say don't take apart Recon armor, marine armor, grenadier locusts. We'll keep all of this and just basically give the child soldiers whatever we can afford to give them at the end of the day. Um, Cataphract helmets is fine. Marine helmets we want to keep around. Same with the prestige marine helmets. Simple helmets, I suppose, is better than nothing. We'll keep gun link. Or that, no, flak helmets is better than nothing. I'd rather not have simple helmets, to be honest with you. That's fine. Yeah, I'm all right with that. I think that'll really make all the difference, though, is making sure they're well-armed. So I'm just going to say make as many charge rifles as you can churn out. Let's just go ahead and make, like, ten of those. Uh, and let's go and get that bill copied over into this one as well. There we are. So we'll have our guys working on hopefully plenty of those. And then we'll get the child soldiers well armed, well trained, bred with the butcher's hooks as well. Granted, it's going to take a little while here. But if we get the other things growing as soon as possible. If we uh, canto viper. Yeah, that's the only one um, that we are breeding here, isn't it? That's the only other gene template that's worth going for. That's the one with the butcher's nails. Um, just remind myself wherever they've... Oh, right. That's it. I'm keeping them in the... Uh, hospital these days, aren't I? Um, right, yeah, the butcher's nails and the musculature braces. Sure, the arms aren't carrying over. Will they have... Surely they'll keep... When we clone them, surely they'll put their legs back. Otherwise, that's some cursed Lamarckism. Um, let's go for our sequence genome then and see if we can grow four simultaneously. Ideally, I'd like about eight children led by led by Robo Mother. We just got Tet Prince lying around outside, huh? That's not, that's not right. 
What the hell do you people think you're doing? They started a revolt with apparently self-made weapons. I mean, they're not going to get very far because we've got, you know, way more taser turrets than them. It also said that only the ones of the Kogal Covenant, and that's... Oh! Oh my god, they're all from the same faction. The goblins, the dwarf, and the rabbit man with only one ear. Oh, bizarre. Are those going to blow up us all, or are we... Come on, put, put this guy down, and then we'll get back out there. Oh, squad's there. Okay, we got some backup. It's okay. They're fleeing. You're a prisoner. You can't flee. That's against the rules. Don't kill them. Don't kill them, for fuck's sake. Okay, uh, can we get everyone else to put out these fires? Thank you, thank you, thank you. No one inside? Oh my god, everybody. Wait, you're telling me all our prisoners are from the Kogal Covenant? I'm not sure I believe you. Of course, all the surviving uh, prisoners too will be transformed into uh, in, into Illithids as well. Seeing as they've, they've basically proven themselves, they've gone through they've gone through the ringer multiple times. They've been beaten. They've been forced to fight in an arena. We've shot them. We've tased them. We've put them in bio tubes and then taken them back out again. These guys are are probably decently tough. Oh my god, it was the child soldiers as well. Wait, so all of our prisoners were the Kogal Covenant? I'm not sure. I believe you. Well, those definitely weren't. Those definitely were not. Flesh Mother has been heated by superheated air. She seems fine, though. When she goes invisible, that, that's when heat can't affect her? Is that how that works? <laughs> not quite not quite sure about that one, fella. Let's go ahead and get these doors opened up. Try and, try and drain some of the heat out. Now, but we found out before that obviously opening doors isn't really uh, a good method of, of controlling heat. Um, Flash Mother, can I put you on deconstructors very quickly? Let's get these doors open. I don't really care if we lose the child prisoners in here. They're not, they're not a concern anymore. We're going we're gonna to breed fresh ones that are already mind controlled for us. <laughs> Viper rebelled as well, but of course Viper can't walk. It's going to wait until Robo Mummy walks in to arrest him and then he's going to bite her limbs off. So macabre, isn't it? Just a freezer filled with child corpses and heads. <laughs> wow. This really does just go to show all the steps we've taken to, to get to where we are today. It's incredible. Where's our... Sorry, where's our caraman? Oh, they're almost here. Right, nice, nice, nice. So we've got Flesh Mother, I believe, right now sequencing another genome. Or at least has finished. Or is not at all. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, did we sequence them already? Oh, there we go. Nice. Right, so let's get you quickly filling up the last organ vat there. And then we've got all four of our clones growing. We'll do two batches of clones. We'll get them well equipped with armor and weapons. Get the cargo pods down, which I think I've actually already finished. And then we can get out there. Cargo pods, here we are. Oh, they're quite expensive, aren't they? And we can put a couple of these down, I hope. Let's, uh, let's do that. Thank you, squad. Let's go for maximum fuel on those. Again? How many times do I have to teach you people this lesson? You're not leaving. Nobody leaves. Sit down. Uh, we need to get these fucking Molotovs out of here too. How do they keep making Molotovs like this? Furco, put that down. They, I'm destroying my own, my own cooking stations here. And finally, the clones are ready. Is Shia LaBeouf okay? Is he still down? Wow. They didn't like knock both his legs off or something. I just didn't notice. Oh, no. Well, they've come back. They've now started mutating. For fuck's sake. Okay. Those meteors, I will admit, as funny and, and as war crimes as they were, massive pain in the ass through the entire series beyond that. Really are driving me a little bit mad. And there he is. Our background human. Our, our, our first background human is ready to extract. Let me see you, tiny child. Who have we got? Monkey. Oh, you were monkey boy. Hello. Gareth Monkey Boy Fowler. I can't help but notice you're not a child at all, but you are in fact a giant man. I'm not a fan of that at all. No, 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 sir. I need you to be a child. Aged 18? No. There we are. Much better. So age four is the youngest they can possibly be. Um, so that the other, otherwise they are incapable of everything. So now we need to apply to you, tiny monkey boy, the brain scan, which is the more modern brain scan template. 20. Uh, it's going to be quite difficult to work it out. Um, we're going to have to basically just go off of skills alone. See, look, this one has a slightly higher melee, so I can only assume that the this one here is the correct one. Um, let's go ahead and forbid that one then. And then we go apply brain scan template to monkey boy. No medical beds available. Bollocks. I just decided to start upgrading our people. That's my bad. Um, can we eject, Neve? Can we just get you, get you ejected? Let's go ahead and build a few more vitals monitors too. There's no reason we haven't got those. Have we got antiseptic corpses? We do, but we don't have the brain scan. Damn. You scan a brain from a 
from a human head. Will that work? I'm here, monkey boy. Mother has a gift for you. It's her brain downloaded into your consciousness. God, this is, this is war crimes. This is really war crimes. There he is. Gareth Monkey Boy Fowler only has 20 shooting legendary master. Deep sleeper, depressive, and tough. Oh, that's fine. I'm not really too bothered by any of those. They've got a bit of a headache, probably because we have just downloaded Robo Mummy's consciousness into him. Uh, they've got butcher's nails and, of course, the musculature braces to make them slightly stronger and hit slightly harder. We've basically given them steroids and a berserker chip. Brilliant. We are going to... No, well, I like I like Monkey Boy. I was going to say we'll rename him to Child Soldier 1 or something like that. Just a number. That is quite brutal, but Monkey Boy is kind of worse. I've done many things in Rimworld, but this may be up there as the greatest thing I've ever done. This actually genuinely might be it. We've got a four-year-old freshly born child with cataphractic armor, recon helmet, jump pack, more importantly. It's, it's a nimble child and a full-on charge LMG. One shot and this kid's going to go reeling. 20 shooting, double passion. I couldn't think of a more perfect brain scan for it either. You, you surely look ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> A couple of you guys actually pointed this out in the comment section yesterday. We can borrow parts from Flesh Mother, install them into Viper, sequence his genome, and put them back in Flesh Mother afterwards. That way we're guaranteeing, obviously, there are certain things we can't, kidneys. Well, one kidney we could, one lung, for example, but obviously we can't go too hard on it because we will kill them. Um, what else could we give you here? So I want to make sure they've got the wings because I think the wings with the butcher's nails and the kind of big heavy armor is uh, very on brand. Got like the, the neuro accelerated spine. It's not really good for combat. It's just good for work speed, which is fairly irrelevant. Um, reactive shimmer worms honestly would be huge. Going invisible whenever they take damage would be fantastic. But I don't know that we can remove that. Remove parts sternum. We actually can. Wow. And we can implant them with the maggot bolters or the crystal cannons. In fact, if we install those in their left lower and right lower shoulders... Damn, I'm actually going to do that. Okay, cool. We can have we can have some inbuilt weapons as well then. Oh. Oh, God. Monkey Boy went berserk. Ah. Uh, just be careful there, Neve. We have a berserker. Oh, God. Punch the child. Punch the child. Shia LaBeouf, luckily, is probably the best person we could have punching this child. Oh, don't kill it. Don't kill it. The fact that it's taking three armed people to knock down... I was going to say to knock down a child. Uh, beaten to death. Wow, that's crazy that it was actually just the, the stacking bruises. Shia LaBeouf slammed Monkey Boy in the right leg, bouncing off his armor, and that killed him. Shit. Well, luckily, we do have Resurrectors kicking around. I decided let's just cancel those other clones, es especially because this one is going to be such a massive, massive upgrade compared to... Uh, Compared to the previous generation. So I've given him everything that uh, the Flash Mother has. So she's in pieces right now, unfortunately. We can't take out any of these without killing her. Um, so obviously, I've taken one of the kidneys there. I didn't actually try the spine or the sternum. But I'm going to assume that will kill her. So I'm not going to not gonna mess around with that too much. But we should be good. So I've got a few more sequences going through here. Whenever Robot Mummy 2 hurries up. Obviously, she's the faster one now, seeing the Splash Mummy is in pieces. When we've got four sequences of of, of this one, we'll start work on... Um, oh, God. Is that is that right? Is that correct? I don't think it is. Shit. So that one's got nine heaters. Where's the other genome? It's there. Um, excuse me. Can I take a look at this one quickly? This one's got... Oh! Ah! Huh. This one's got nine as well. Okay, so they're all they're all the right one. Got it. I just accidentally set too many bills. That's fine. Just thought I better double check. Um, in that case, let's start filling these up then straight away as soon as we can. Um, we we'll get little little Zuck. You can work on that one. Let's get Robo Mummy. Oh no, let's get Squad on this one actually. Or or not. Oh my God, what? Are you okay? On wake up. It's only a minor drug overdose. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's okay. We'll send our best doctor to tend to you. Oh, what do you mean you are the best doctor? You are in you're in a lot of trouble because Robot Mummy 2 doesn't have any thinking power anymore and Flash Mother has no arms. So we've really got to hope Kekfit survives this. Otherwise, well, there's not much I can do. <laughs> I should laugh. But a four-year-old taking a little bit too much cucumber paste is... Uh, that's real good.
That's actually really, really good. Thank you for that. I'm, I'm currently ripping apart uh, Viper and installing it all back into Flash Mother. We've only got regular herbal medicine, though, so it's a bit hit and miss, I won't lie. Now, little Viper, I think you've served your purpose. You may, you may, you may, you may get rid of him. You may get rid of him. Goodbye, little Viper. Thank you, thank you for your help in creating what I can only describe as the ultimate Rimworld army. 1.5 days to see if poor monkey boy is allowed to stay in the army. I think the first thing we'll do is send second generation monkey boy in to fight first generation monkey boy. We'll give them the same armor. Actually, we'll strip them both naked uh, and we'll just see who wins. But I think it would be a safe bet to assume that the guy implanted with, uh, you know, 12 different evolved organs probably has the edge over poor little monkey boy. <laughs> And would you look at that? They're finally here, ready and able to go. Catch you and Powell. Welcome, or Pavel, possibly. Uh, oh my God, it actually worked. Butcher's nails, extra dextrous arms, feathered wings, musculature, braces, a triple filter pass, kidney, two reinforced legs, and a serrated stinger tail. The only thing that didn't work actually is the, um, the maggot bolter and the venom crystal cannon. Those, didn't work at all. I don't know why, seeing as uh, they were part of the heater. But that's that doesn't really matter too much because it's... We're going to be giving them charge weaponry anyway. And I'm still not quite sure how effective those things are, you know? Um, let's go and get you to put in the child barracks. And let's go and see how effective new generation is versus old generation. So we've got 8.4 hours on clone number three, and then clone number four is going to be another 4.5 days, just simply because it took them a long time to fill the vat. Um, when someone starts filling it, it, it reserves the vat entirely, and, and if you don't force them, they don't really finish the vat. So I'm going to let them uh, let them go do that manually. And here they are. Your replacements, monkey boy. Let's strip monkey boy off. Take off your clothes, monkey boy. It's time to fight your friend. Oh, God, this is going to be interesting. By your friend, I mean... I mean you. It's 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 you. Okay, here we are. Pavel, come and watch your brother's. Oh my god, look at how much faster it is for a start. Okay, so in the interest of pure equality, they're both in place. Keep it paused. You punch him. You punch him. And uh, excuse me. Go. Oh, monkey boy, getting a strong start in there. Look at this. Now here's a uh, a, a reasonable point is that uh. Monkey Boy has the brain scan installed. Kachu does not. So even with his 14.27 versus 1.8, Monkey Boy still died. Holy shit. That's insane. You may have the kill. You may, you may have the kill, Kachu. I will allow it. Good work. Let's get the Robo Mummy software downloaded into their squishy little human brains. There we are. And then you as well, Pavel. Don't think you're going to escape. Let's go apply brain scan template to you as well. Nice. There we are. Shooting of 20. A melee of 14. They've got 20 medical. These skills actually carried over properly. I don't even notice with Monkey Boy, he didn't actually gain any skills besides shooting. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Well, here we are. Wow. They... they does he need patching up? Really? No, it, it got a little bit of a bruised torso there. We should give him some armor skin glands too, but of course that would require a lot of uh, actual manufacturing. I'm not even sure we have the technology for it, do we? Um, skin. No, we don't. Damn. But catch you the winner. It's going to be called one. You are in charge of the other child soldiers. Well, obviously you're not. That would be that would be Rover Mummy or Flesh Mummy. Uh, but but you will be. You will be the, the kind of leader. You'll be, you'll be the leader of your own people, but you still answer to uh, the, the, the commander who answers over to, to one of our other guys here. How are you looking then? So it's just the fact that they are under anesthetic right now. Wow, they are insane, aren't they? Oh, I want to see their health tab because we've got to wait for that to wear off first. Oh, another clone is done. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Zuck, extract my number three, I guess. Flash Mother, you can uh, arrest him. No, no, no. Yeah, thank you. Um, I want to apply the... We, we should be a bit more careful with this brain scan template. All the skills and viciousness and cruelty of Robo Mummy downloaded into one easily applicable brain template, and we're just leaving it on the floor. Is that okay? Is that loud? How are we doing on here, then? 
for 6.9 days, 7 days on that one, 4.1 days. We need to get this one filled up. I'm generally getting uh, Robot Robo Mummy to fill these ones up because she doesn't, you know, she doesn't need recreation. Her mood never drops below 100% from where we've taken all her free thought away. And there you are, my friends. The, the perfect outcome for this situation. We have our four starting clones here, all with their crazy, I, I mean, just absolutely insane uh, genetics there, the butcher snails, the arms, the wings, everything. With Cataphract Armor, I've let them borrow some Cataphract Armor from our guys because we didn't have enough sets for everybody and we can't make Cataphract Armor. Um, so I thought I'd give them some spare. I've got some Marine Armor on the go as well. Whenever that's crafted, we'll, uh, we'll equip the new four with those. We've got this, this little one is, uh, meditating, probably on murder or killing, I would assume. We've got these two training up their melee stats. Learning tactics with, with one who is, who is gaining some knowledge there and some strategy. This is nice. All being trained, of course, by, by Flash Mother herself. What a great day for the colony. I'm looking forward to the next raiders we get. We've only had things, boring things like prison riots and crap. Um, but hopefully we get an actual proper raid in a second and we can we can put these four to work and see how well they do. Well, shit, that was pretty good timing, huh? We've got the Grey Tributary Bandits. Uh, and it's also the Aunts of Stardust. Stardust, the, uh, the Cowman, I think. Oh, look at this. Even though they came in with drop pods, we got quite lucky and they've, they've spawned in on the other side of the, of the meteors. Fantastic. Right. Get the child soldiers in position. Do you want to put them here or do you want to put them behind a shield generator? Oh, that's a bloody lot of them though, huh? Fuck. Okay. Now, bear in mind the child soldiers aren't dosed up with stabilizer. So we can't really afford to put them any further forward than here. I'm going to see if I can wake them up here a second. Let's go ahead and put... Oh, really? That's too far away? For God's sake. <laughs> Ah, okay, reinstall that first then, I guess. And then we'll see if we can just get off a couple of pot shots here. Wake them up. Because we, the last thing we want is them... Oh, bad shot. Last thing we want is them sieging us. In fact, I think they're targeting a floor tile, aren't they? Balls. Okay, come on. Why is that one further away than... What? Was it... How about now? Nope, still can't do it. What the hell's going on? Okay, fine. Right, whenever you're ready. So the reason I'm using Robo Mummy 2 um, rather than anybody else is simply because of... The extra dexterous arms, 438% uh, manipulation is obviously di like disgustingly powerful, so I can't, I can't ignore that. Let's go ahead and get that hold in there. No! What are you doing? You moron! Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. Hall. Yeah, there we are. Let's go ahead and forbid those doors. Open those ones up. Everyone else will get into combat positions. So, uh, defensive positions. There we are. And then you man the mortar. What? Oh, is that the anti-grain one? Ooh. Oh, it was actually set to mutagenic. That's my bad. Me being a fool, I didn't need to do that at all. Right, here we go. Hopefully these two should have some pretty good accuracy here. Where are they going? Are they retreating? Oh, that was a good shot. They're just pissing around. Excuse me, I need to test my child soldiers and you people aren't, aren't coming into range. I can't send the child soldiers through the... We didn't put a door in the wall. No, I took the door away because it was just a kind of a big... Vulnerability, essentially. Oh, there we go. At long last. The stuff's actually dropping in. Well, that took a bloody long time, didn't it? I, I, I just assumed it was a they'll wait a while on attack raid rather than rather than a full-on siege. Weird. I guess it just took them a while, huh? Two shells coming in. This actually might be enough to finish them off, depending on where they land. Okay, still not enough. Oh no, the buzz the butcher snails. Okay, uh, go for a melee. Take them down with melee. Just don't get into a firefight. We don't want them killing one another before the enemy even gets here. Oh, shit. Come on, three. Stand down. Stand down, three. This is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in RimWorld. Hey, I think we... Oh, we missed their shells exploding, I assume. Yeah, there we are. And then it got large. Wait, but you're not even mutated, are you? Oh, no, you are. Must just be fire. Fire must trigger them to, uh, to grow slightly larger. Three, stand down, for God's sake. Oh, this is ridiculous. They're too strong. They're actually so strong. Fuck off. <laughs> ah, we'll resurrect him later. We'll resurrect him later. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay, okay. Not a problem. That's so annoying. We lost one third of... We've lost a quarter of our child soldiers already. Simply down to infighting. And kill him dead. Oh, we need to get some distance. That's not sufficient. I just don't want them taking the body or the gun or anything. Watch out. These child soldiers are hopeless. We've lost two and they've barely got into a firefight yet. You morons. 
Oh, for God's sake. How do warlords manage with this? They're just incompetent. Oh, I'm so annoyed. All this fucking time and effort. And what do I have to show for it? Four dead children. That's what. They're useless. They're awful. <laughs> oh, I'm so angry. Do you know how long that took me for research, development, cloning, implanting, growing? And for what? Their squishy, childlike bodies are, 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 are not immune to damage. Fuck. Well, oh, seriously? I hate them. I'm not even sure I want to resurrect them anymore. I hate them that much. Oh, let's get them hauled. Do I have any resurrectors? I mean, what the hell else am I going to do with them, though? They are fully upgraded. They've got cataphract armor. The only thing better, I, I arguably, is the heavy marine armor with the built-in shielding. They've got the best armor in the game, the best helmets in the game. Again, debatably, one of the best weapons in the game. I've upgraded them to the point that they are superhuman in every conceivable way, and still they die. It's just out for a picnic, apparently. No, that's all good. Don't worry about it. Just, just where the lightning strikes, that's where we shall have our picnic, people. Atop a mountain of corpses. Did that one's head come off? Oh, no, it's his jump pack. <laughs> oh, I'm so disappointed. I am genuinely so, so annoyed by that. For fuck's sake. The second batch of second generation clones are about to, uh... Well, they're not going to be done anytime soon. Let's put it that way. Uh, 26 hour, sorry, 21 hours on that one. 21 hours on that 1.4 days and then 5.5 because obviously that one was delayed. So in less than a week, we'll have our, our second squad produced here. Maybe it is a numbers game. You know, maybe maybe for every one adult, we need two children, which if that's the case, that's absurd and we'll never manage. How many resurrectors have we got? One. One. <sighs> Go on then. Do until X and we'll say X is four. Zuck. Zuck. R resurrect my children. Res I, I don't know why. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might just put them in a tube and laugh at them. Oh, they just broke one down for parts. No. <laughs> my child. We've just taken it apart. That was weeks of work. Oh, you fool. Well, we've got... Oh, and it's tainted armor now. If we put it on someone, kill them and resurrect them, will it remove the taint from the armor? Asking for a friend. <laughs> oh, I'm so angry. Who did we lose? We lost three. Well, congratulations for you're getting a promotion. I can't rename it. A dead child, apparently. No. Why can't I can't resurrect this one? This one's okay, but I can't resurrect this one. Which one's that? Two. Why can't I resurrect four? Is it because they're fifty-eight percent missing? No, surely not. I can't resurrect him. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Use resurrect max serum. Nope. Impossible. It's not a valid target. Look. Oh, can we can't resurrect a head, can we? <laughs> oh, what? So two of our child corpses are now useless. Ah. Oh. It's okay. Fween is now old enough to work. Welcome back. He's become a mecha rat. You know what? Fucking good. I'm going to leave him like that. <laughs> <laughs> if I revert him, will it gain back all of his, uh... Will it gain back all of his faculties? Let's go ahead and hit him with a reverter quickly. See if that will put him back to being ultra child. If, if he just comes back as a regular child, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to beat him over the head. Where is he? Oh, there he is. We're immediately up on his feet. Okay, fine. We've got that going for us, which is nice. You are going to have to wear tainted armor. It's okay. It was you that died in it. No, his armor's gone. Well, we have that spare tainted armor, though, don't we? Um, well, we did. There it is. Forceware cataphract armor. Forceware... What are you putting on? Oh. I thought they were putting on the tainted gear then for a second. Well, I guess we'll leave, uh, we'll leave Zuck to keep working on the resurrectors. I'll see if I can find a way to resurrect for... Maybe just picking him up and putting him back down and, and kind of resetting him. Moving him out of the stockpile. Anything like that might be enough to wake him up. There's no reason. He is obviously a valid... Resurrect target for whatever reason the game just can't detect it right now So I'll see what I can do to bring back two and four obviously revert them as well We'll get our fresh batch of clones out. We're, we're missing one, you know seven out of eight ain't bad Although they are terrible in combat Maybe I should have let them groan a little bit more, huh? Rather than sending them into battle 
<laughs> Thank you all for watching. We're going to leave that one there for today. I hope you guys are enjoying the final few episodes of our series here. Tomorrow, we will we will get them out into the world. And, and I promise you, I will destroy our foes using Cataphract Child. Thank you to Skaz, Udric, Kane, Mythomatic, Steak and Bacon Akins, Goatfather, Elite IMP, Voodoo Mumbo, Anastava, Veazine, Galupo Fruit Hag, Oliver, Slow King 1710, Under the Couch, Sideshow C, Aromatic Fool, Adam Spleen, and Varlo for their support over at the Executive Producer Tiers over on Patreon. Of course, thank you everybody over there. What I'll do is in a couple of days' time, I'll put up a message, or hopefully tomorrow, basically whenever I can get time. Sorry, I've been doing some sponsored work recently, um, which hopefully you'll see very, very soon. Uh, not going up on my channel, by the way. I should also point that out. Uh, it's kind of... Anyway, I won't talk about it too much. I'll announce it later on. Um... But basically, I've been extremely busy, obviously, trying to stay on top of that and the regular kind of two to three edited videos a day going out as well. So um, I'll, I'll make sure I get a message up on Patreon as soon as possible, basically just making sure I've got everybody on the list because it is something that uh, bothers me quite a lot should I have accidentally missed anyone on there. Thank you as well to Proximity Jones, Major Mythical, Stormcrown, Moondoggy, Bordoon, Larry the Emu, Astros Fan, 12345, Neoncat17, Atreus Sen, Coldest Flame, and Blue Chaos as well, along with everybody over at Patreon and Coffee, and you at home for watching for your support for the channel. See you all soon, TM.